Hey there, hosers. Today, we are gonna open the third and final Costco mini tin bundle that's currently available, the Galar Powers mini tin bundle. Check it out. The Galar Power mini tin bundles come with the standard four promos that have come in the previous two, the Dialga, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Intellion Cosmo Hollow promo. In addition to that, it comes with five mini tins. And inside of those tins are going to be one Evolving Skies pack, as well as one Fusion Strike pack. Each of these tins are going to give us a chance at pulling one of my favorite alt art cards, either the Umbreon alt art or the Gengar alt art, and I'm really excited about that. So with that said, let's crack these things open. So we're going to start real quick just by breaking this thing open, like so. And then we'll go ahead and remove the four promos again. I've shown these to you guys a couple of times now, but third time never hurts, right? Get the Inteleon. The Dialga. This one does not have the error that my first one had, so that's good. And then the last one is Rillaboom. Not too bad. Super curved, though. Look at that. That is a little crazy. And then in addition to that, we got these five tins right here. So I'll go ahead and crack one of these open real quick. Take a look inside. And what do we have? We got the Raikou coin again in this one, it looks like. And then we got one of the art pieces that I'll put together in just a moment. And then, yep, check that out. We got the Evolving Skies. We can get it out of there. And the Fusion Strike. And then, just like before, if you look down here, somewhere. Whoa, the code's not there. Interesting. Did they move it on this type of tin? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. So, C22, just like the other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and crack the rest of these off screen real quick. Alright, that's done. So, as you can see, you got the little art here for the five different cards from each tin. We got a Raikou coin for each one, and then we got five Evolving Skies and five Fusion Strike Booster Packs. So, enough of this. Let's go ahead and get rid of those and start cracking open some packs. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start cracking open the packs. We're gonna start with Evolving Skies and alternate between the two different sets. Now, I forgot to mention it in the intro again, but these are at Costco for $39.99 uh, $39 if you order them online, but they're only $29.99 if you can find them in stores. Um, I unfortunately could not end up just buying them online, but even then, that's still a pretty good deal. 10, 10 packs, five Evolving Skies, five uh, Fusion Strike, and only 40 bucks. It's a really good deal. So I may pick up some of these, um, again, not for opening on the channel per se, but just to have some extra packs for. Because I have a feeling we're going to be seeing the end of Evolving Skies reprints here real soon if we haven't already. Now that we're going into the Scarlet and Violet era, I have a feeling we're going to start seeing a lot less of... Um, of these Sword and Shield packs, especially the earlier ones like Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike. So I'm going to pick some of these up for myself just to hang on to. Maybe open in the future, who knows. Let's see, we got Hippodon, we got Golduck, Scroll the Fang Dragon, Rock and Roll, Flabebe, Swablu, Litleo, Chinchow, we got the Zygarde Reverse Hollow, and a Wishy Washy Rare. Go on to Fusion Strike, pack number two. Really hope we can pull that Gengar card. That um is one of my favorite cards from all of Sword and Shield so far, but I really don't care about the rest of Fusion Strike all that much, so I really haven't been doing a lot of openings for it. I may end up just buying it, but I would so much rather just pull it myself. It's nice actually pulling your own alt arts instead of having to go buy them. Alright. Number three, go ahead and crack this one open real quick. Now, next video guys, in case you aren't aware, um, I think I've probably already posted it by now, but my next video opening is actually gonna be some PokeRev mystery packs again. I've done it once before in the past, and I'm going to do it again and hope that we can actually pull something good. I'm really hoping that we can get, ooh, hey, look at that, Espeon VMAX, my third one on this channel now, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Not very well centered either. Look how 
bottom heavy that is. Oh well. Confusion strike. I lost what I was saying. Oh yeah, Pokemon packs. Yeah, I'm hoping that we can pull something really cool from it. I really want to get something like a rocket booster. That would be awesome. I mean, I know there are ones more rare than that, but Rocket's a set that I really like, and it's something that I've been actually looking into potentially buying singles for since I've almost finished base set at this point. Um, speaking of almost finishing base set, would you guys be interested if I just did a video where I showed you my collection instead of opening cards? Because I haven't done anything like that yet. I'm not sure how well it would do. Um, but I mean, some of my sets are actually looking pretty nice now. And it'd be pretty cool to show off what I do have. So let me know down in the comments below if that's something that you'd be interested in watching or not. Because if it is, I'll totally do it. But if it's not, it's not worth doing at this point. Alright, pack number four for Fusion Strike. Nearing the end already. I need to start opening more packs in these videos. I feel like they just go way too fast. Either that or slow down my openings. But... I don't know, I have a hard time doing that. You know, you've seen a card once, you've seen it like 500 times. You don't need to, you don't need for me to spend like three minutes looking at this card. You know what a quick ball looks like. You know a Persian. You've seen Shelmet. You've seen Drillbur. Bunnelby, I've never seen that card actually. <laughs> that's pretty, that's a pretty nice looking one. Uh, Caterpie, that's, I'm pretty sure I've seen this Caterpie. It's been a little while though. More Peko, definitely seen. More Peko again, definitely seen. And then we got a Sandcastle. Alright guys, last one for each. We got the Umbreon and the Mew on the packs. We'll go with Evolving Skies first. God, these packs feel so fragile. Okay. Get rid of that. Give a code card for you guys. We got one, two, three. Did you see that? One of those cards is... Oh, that's my rare, isn't it? I don't know if you guys can see it well. Let's let's find out. Get rid of that. <clears throat> Hurtier, Pyroar, Dream Ball, Psyduck, we got Swablu, C Dot, Woobat, Eevee, Reverse Hollow, Gorgeist, and our rare is just that. What card was that? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Final pack. We have the Fusion Strike Pack. Go ahead and crack this thing open. Final code card for you guys. And let's see what we got. Quick Ball, Persian, Cook, Sigilith, Toxel, Totodile, Veneri, Clobopus, Impotence, and the Explodey Boy. That brings us to the end of the video, guys. Out of the whole box, we got one freaking hit. Just one. SP on VMAX. And it's something I already have. <laughs> so definitely our worst uh, worst opening to date, for sure. But um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, I would totally appreciate that. Like I said, next video, we're doing some PokéRed Mystery Packs. And hopefully we can get something good out of that one. With that said, I am out of here, guys. Peace. Thanks so much for watching, hosers. If you guys want to watch another video of mine, go ahead and click the video up there. If you want to watch a video of a different small creator, go ahead and check out the video down there.